Um, well, I, I began working with the Child and Family Research Centre, I suppose, five or six years ago. And I was just uh, very um, impressed by the focus they had on youth as youth researchers and giving a voice to young people. It seemed to me like a logical thing to do. And, uh, and they've done tremendous work over the years and uh, I've been very happy to be, the, to, to be the patron and just to help promote the work that they're doing now. You know, as an actor, uh, it's, you can't really be an actor without uh, employing empathy as a very important tool in your, in your arsenals and because you have to understand the character you're playing, you have to understand the character you're playing opposite and the situations that they're trying to portray. So it, it's, it, it naturally makes you empathetic towards people um, and situations and, and so therefore if I can help young people in some way, you know, role play these situations and begin to see that, you know, everyone has a different story and everyone's story is kind of as valuable and, and then hopefully that will help them in the future. So that's really what I do. It's not very advanced or technical, but it's just helping, helping kids help themselves. Really. Because I was young once and because I have young children, so I understand I remember what it what it what it is to be a young person, and you know, and I think it seems to me that if we're gonna you know, you know, uh, help young people or encourage young people to behave in a certain way, or we, then we should that they should be at the forefront of it, and they should be um, telling us how they feel and telling us what they need. So that just seems logical to me, rather than academics or politicians or anybody else. Talking down to, to talking down to young people, you know, that just seems to me sensible.